This video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, so the cooler weather is here. It's a little bit gloomy today, actually, as I say that. The sky is starting to clear up, so that's nice. And I have the perfect DIY that I want to do. I've been wanting to make this for a while, and I think right now it's the perfect time. And it involves a blanket. So this DIY involves making a blanket into a jacket. And now I have two blankets right here that I thrifted. This beautiful pink one. All this purple one. Actually reversible. I think they're going to make such cute jackets. I need to decide which one I actually want to make right now because... They're both super cute. And I have the pattern all printed up in here. Last night I got these printed and cut out all the pieces. But this is the jacket DIY. This is from Anne Erin. She basically, yeah, just turns a blanket into a jacket through hand sewing. No sewing machine is needed, nothing like that. We're gonna be hand sewing all of this. Before we even get to the hand sewing part, we need to cut all of these pieces out. So let's do that. So, this is not the time to play. You have to do that right on the blanket. Miso, I'm trying to lay all the pieces down. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the back, but the first piece has been cut. This is the pocket flap, and I need to cut a second of these actually. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually my first time ever using a sewing pattern or doing anything like this. I've actually never used a pattern before. I've never needed to print out, cut out pieces. Never done this before. So, this is exciting. I'm not very good with using the rotary cutter, so we've got my fabric scissors and my rotary cutter here. And we're gonna keep cutting these pieces out, but first piece is cut out and it's not too bad we gotta celebrate our small wins okay let's keep going We now have all of the pieces fully cut out from the pattern. All of the pieces fit on the blanket, but you just have to think a little bit more about placement of each of the pieces to make sure that everything fits. But they're all cut out now, and it was actually so much fun to do this. Like I said, I've never ever used a pattern before, never done like hand sewing or anything like that. So this is definitely a new skill that I'm learning and just teaching myself. And speaking of learning new things and teaching yourself new skills, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of it before, Skillshare is an online learning community where they have classes on virtually anything you can think of. I've talked before about how I personally use Skillshare to develop my video editing skills and how that turned into a career for me. And I just absolutely love using Skillshare when there's just something new that I would like to learn and teach myself. Now my goal this year is actually to start my very own small business. I've talked a little bit about it in some of my past videos, but I think it's really nerve wracking breaking into like the creative industry and really having the confidence to build a business in that space. But that is my goal this year is to continue being my own boss, start a small business in the creative industry, and also learn how to grow an audience through video marketing like on YouTube or TikTok. And Skillshare has so many classes to help with this. Honestly, no goal is too small. And actually, whilst I was cutting this out and also testing out different color choices, which we'll touch on, I was watching the Create Your Dream Career, Uncover and Apply Your Creative Strengths class by Holly M. Coley Murchison. And she really just helps you be confident in yourself and your creative abilities and really dig deeper in finding insight into yourself so that you can move forward into creating your dream career. 
There are also so many classes that I want to take in the freelancing space, like the Freelancing for Creators, From First Leap to Finances by Margot Harrington, and Vlogging for Business, Build Your Brand with Video by Erin Winters. I think those classes are going to be so useful for helping me get a little bit closer to achieving my goals. And I want to help you guys get a little bit closer to your goals too. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. This is an amazing deal, and it's something that I highly highly recommend. I genuinely have been using Skillshare for years and it's, and it's honestly helped give me so much confidence in taking kind of like my hobbies and, and giving me confidence to actually turn those hobbies into a career. Yeah, I'm so excited to be working with them again and yeah, make sure you click the link. But anyways, now on to this little bit of scrap fabric. I was testing out different yarn options. I think I'm eliminating this pink, but I still have these three options to do. So I'm literally using yarn, I think, in the video. I can't really tell because the video instructions for this are literally just a TikTok and it goes really fast. I think it uses like a really thick like thread, but I'm using yarn. And yeah, I just tried to do a little bit of a test blanket stitch around these and oh, I just, I'm so unsure. I think these all look really cute. My eye automatically gravitates towards this lime green. But maybe I'm a beauty YouTuber. But like that looks so, so good. It just is so bright and I feel like it's really, really spring. I also love this purple because I feel like it's still a nice like color, but it's not too much of a pop. I feel like the blanket itself is obviously a hot pink, so it's a very bright color. Kind of more of a muted option. Could be more wearable, I don't know. Which color do you like? The blue? I don't know if this is very helpful for me. Can you help me choose? No, no, oh, she's just bringing me her toy. This is not very helpful. Okay, miso was no help. This is like a lot of pressure because I watched Jenna Phipps' video on her making this blanket jacket and she picked a color and then made like pretty much most of the jacket and realized she didn't like the color and had to redo it and I really don't want to have to do that. I'm really just trying to think about what realistically I would actually wear. Where you on my side? I do like the purple. I feel like it's enough of a little bit of a pop, but it's not but it's not too too much that overpowers everything. I think we can keep going with the purple. I also did post a poll to my Instagram stories and majority of you voted purple. So we've done the shoulder seams. Next up is the side seams. Yeah, let's do it. I ain't never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. You feeling me from across the room? I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones. Okay, so I was trying this on and I was like, this does not look like the jacket in the pattern. And I realized I've sewn the front parts on the wrong way. It's okay because I didn't sew the sides together yet. So all I need to do is undo the shoulder seams and then just like swap out the sides. So yeah, let's uh fix that now. It happened. Exactly what I said I didn't want to happen. It happened. I ended up hating the purple yarn that we were using and I've changed it to the green. I don't know guys, I just thought like if I kept going with the purple, like the more that it would come together, the more I would like how it looked. But to me, I don't know, it just wasn't. I feel like in my head, because I thought like the blanket itself is such a bright brown color that using a purple thread would, you know, make it more wearable because it wouldn't be so standy outy. But I think it was just so like lackluster. I was just like, this isn't like 
this isn't what I wanted. And so yeah, I cut all the purple thread out and changed it to the green. My gosh, I like this so much better. I should have just gone with my gut the first time round. I knew that when I did that little swatch, I liked the green more, but I was like, is it gonna be wearable? Is it gonna look good? It does. It's giving like a watermelon, like, summer vibes which i really really like and you can just see like it just stands out so much more the stitching so yeah i spent all of last night just cutting out all the purple and getting us back to the place that we were so you haven't missed anything you haven't missed it we're back at the same place i just changed everything but i'm liking it so much better so i'm really happy and we are now on the step of doing this kind of stitching all the way around the outside also the plus side of doing the stitches over again is that because now i've done it all before i'm a lot better at it still not great at it still not going to show you close-up detail because it's it's still not great but it looks better than it did the first time i did it with the purple yarn so i'm feeling good <laughs> We have two finished sleeves done. We just have to attach these to the coat and then we have to attach the collar. So two more steps and we'll be done. I have to start getting ready to go to a friend's house in about half an hour. I'm really hoping I can get this done within half an hour because we're just having like a girl's night and it'd be so nice to be able to just like wear this, just like chilled vibes, like blanket jacket tonight, but we'll see. Who knows? We have about half an hour now, so don't know if that's gonna happen. Also, I wanted to mention, if you guys are planning to make this, this is a little hack for you because, because basically you kind of just get this like QR code um, and those are the instructions and the QR code links to a TikTok video she's made and the TikTok is like a minute long so it's a really quick one and you kind of just have to like keep watching parts over again to kind of understand what to do. So I basically just downloaded that TikTok straight from the TikTok app and then I actually put it into InShot which is just like a video editing app on my phone. You could literally do whatever one. I've actually just turn the speed right down to like the slowest speed like i've slowed it right down so now it's like a 13 minute video so now i can watch it and she's kind of i mean it's still kind of fast but i can easily just like re-watch things or like you know go back and forth instead of having to re-watch like the whole tiktok again so that's how i've been following the instructions my brain is not fast enough to be able to like follow what she's doing in like her normal TikTok at the normal speed, so that's 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 a tip for you. Now I'm just gonna skip forward to the part where she attaches the sleeves to the jacket, and I'm gonna do that hopefully before I have to go. Are you ready for the final reveal? Oh my gosh, look at this. We have completed the full jacket. When I tell you, I have been so excited to put this on. Like the thought of being able to like wear a blanket, like have a blanket just always wrapped around me. That seems like the best feeling ever. Here we go. It is literally like just wrapping yourself in a blanket. It's so good. Well. Here is the finished jacket. I'm very impressed with myself. I got this done within a week, which I feel like you could get this done a lot quicker than I did, but a week is not bad, if I must say so myself. Also, I'm so happy I went with the lime green. I just feel like against the pink, it looks so good. And I also decided to add these little bows 
to cover up the buttons because the pattern just calls for like snap buttons and I'm, I'm sure you could use like any other buttons if you have something to make like buttonholes or whatever but then you could see like the raw stitching on like the front side from the snap buttons and I wanted to cover them up somehow so I thought I could do like little yarn bows they don't have much structure so unless I like fully you know try and shape them out they kind of just like fall down and look like weird but I kind of like it I think it's really cute it adds to the handmade feel and literally all I did for the bows was just chain 60 tie them in a bow and then sew them onto the jacket really really simple but I think it just makes it look so much cuter and oh my gosh this is actually the perfect fit I would say this is a perfect like oversized like medium fit I'm not actually sure if she has other sizes of this on her website I think it is just one size honestly I think this is perfect I absolutely love it I feel like this is all I'm going to wear all of winter especially just like at home just like wrapped in a blanket anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed coming along and trying out this new thing with me I always think it's so fun to just try out new things try things you've never done before and learn new things and with that I want to thank the sponsor of the video today Skillshare thank you so much again for sponsoring this video I always love working with Skillshare so yeah if you guys don't want to miss out on getting a free trial of Skillshare then be one of the first 1000 people to click the link in my description so yeah trust me you don't want to miss out but yeah let me know what you think of how I did with this project let me know if you guys would try this as well because I think this is really fun I'm definitely a very very cozy make and i love the idea of like sewing all of this like not a single machine was used to make this to construct this this was all made by hand by sewing i think that's so cool like if you don't have a sewing machine but you still want to make a cute jacket this is perfect tilt this down so you can see the jacket better as well i think it's so fun and i honestly think that any like blanket would do i definitely want to find like another blanket that has like a cute pattern on it, maybe like a floral print or something would be a really cute one I don't know, just something that has a print to make it more fun but I also love like this bright bright colour I think this is so fun, I absolutely love this anyway, that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching and for being here with me as I make this jacket and for coming and crafting with me as always i love having you guys here don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to come and craft with me some more and also follow me on tiktok and instagram and yeah that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye